Hi, my name's Russ Spencer. And I'm Pollyanna Woodward. Now tonight we're in Leicester Square. We're at the UK premiere of Speed Racer. It's the latest film from the Wachowski brothers. For those of you who don't know, it's the people who brought us the Matrix trilogy. Now tonight's film, Speed Racer, it's a family adventure about a guy called Speed Racer who fights for justice in a world where motor racing is corrupt. Now it stars a new talent who is Emile Hirsch, the movie legend Susan Sarandon, John Goodman, lost star Matthew Fox and even the talented Chris so tonight we're hopefully going to meet the stars of the movie and hopefully a few surprises too. Hello. Now what made you pick this script? Oh wow, the, the thrill of car racing. When I was a kid, when I was about nine or ten, me and my two brothers used to build little cars out of Lego and uh, we'd have like teams and favourite cars and stuff and we used to race around the house at home and you know make running commentaries on the races and stuff and doing this took me right back to that. I must admit, it's amazing, isn't it? It's fantastic. The it's special effects fantastic. are groundbreaking, aren't they? Awesome. Did you find yeah. you were working with, with nothing a lot of the time? Yeah, <laughs> all I saw was green for, for days and days and days. <laughs> I clearly don't want to be seen too much of... No, I didn't want to see green for a long time after that. But, but it was such fun. The whole, the whole movie, the whole, the whole thing was about kind of that. It was about kind of childlike fun, a sense of enjoyment and imagination. and. Just, just having a laugh, really. And that kind of came trickled down right from the top all the way through the crew. Yeah. I must admit, we saw this morning, and I must admit, the colours is absolutely amazing. Yeah. And the is it, Wachowski brothers did a fantastic job. How was it working with them? Oh, fabulous. I mean, they've got, they, they're, they're, they've got such a love of, I don't know, imagination and, and fun and kind of childlike thrill of making movies they really love movies and it, and it just, it's an infectious kind of passion and love and you you know you work for them and you go yeah this is fantastic uh, were, you fantastic. A, were you a fan of the matrix movies oh, before yeah. totally. Totally. I, was, I was a bit disappointed you didn't do any of those big slow motion high kicks <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not the best weather is it it's, it's, it's not quite like, like, like it was in la on saturday I know, I'm exceptionally jealous of you. Now, uh, fantastic film. What made you actually pick this script when you actually got it through? I was offered it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good reason. It. it was a great part. I've worked with the Wachowskis before on V for Vendetta and had a great time doing that. And this script came along and it was, uh, you know, a fantastic role in a kind of movie I'd never done before. And so it just seemed like a great opportunity. I must admit, it's quite different from V for Vendetta to Speed Racer. Was yeah. it kind of a little bit of a shock to the system? Was the way it worked a little bit different? No, I mean, I think, uh, you know, it's just what it is. They wanted to make a film for, uh, you know, a younger audience. Uh, I, I think they said they wanted to make a movie that their nieces and nephews could go and see. And so, you know, that's how it is, which wouldn't be V for Vendetta. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know a few years back you, um, you treaded the boards in musical theatre and did Les Miserables. Yeah. How does it feel to be back in the West End? I know it's slightly different. Well, it's always nice to be in the West End. I've been in the West End in the in theatres uh, uh, quite a few times since then. But uh, this is uh, th this kind of big event is new to me. Yeah. And what have you got lined up next? I I'm doing a play, rehearsing a play at the moment at the National Theatre, a new play by Michael Frayn called Afterlife. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Have a lovely evening. You are an absolute legend. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. Of course you are. Now, how did it compare making Speed Racer compared to all of your other films? It's the first really big family movie I've ever done before. I mean, we've never really done this. I'm an R-rated guy, you know. Yeah. It's the first big family film. This is designed as a family. It's not a kid's movie. It's for the whole family. And it's got a movie you drop the kids off and come back and get them. It's for everybody to watch together. And I think it really works like that. It really is fun and exciting. It's thrilling. It's got a great look, a great feel. I think it's a great film. And you well, enjoying the London weather here. <laughs> <laughs> well, London sunshine. You're not ruin your seat, though. And I hope not. Thank you I very much. You all did a fantastic job. It's a brilliant film. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's actually hard to hear anything. <laughs> your name is very appropriate at the moment, I see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Now, you seem to have a lot of fans here. The yeah. noise is bellowing as soon as you seem to appear on the carpet. That's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. We spoke, you know, to, see? <laughs> we spoke to them earlier. They told us they've been here all day, I think, waiting for you. They have. They, and yeah. they, they came from everywhere as well. Now, um, what made you choose this script? Uh, you know, I love Wachowskis. Yeah. yeah. They're, the, they're the best. Yeah, there's nothing to talk about. They, um, they have amazing abilities to make you know dreams come true with powerful imagination that's the reason right, yeah. yeah you're a big matrix fan then 
Yeah, yeah. really? <laughs> you too? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. One of awesome. my favorites. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what about music? Are you Any plans to release any music over here? Yeah. And um, I'm working on an um, English album yeah, maybe got... next year. Yeah, coming soon. Brilliant. I'm sure it'll go down great. Thanks so much for talking Thank to us. So much. Cheers. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Peter, what made you choose uh, this film? Well, um, I've always wanted to work with Wachowskis, and uh, I heard they were making Speed Racer forever, a long, long time ago. And then everyone's always said, like, oh, you should play Trixie. So I, when they called me to audition, I was sort of like, oh, I'm supposed to be in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> and what was it like working with green screen quite a lot? Was it a little bit... You know, it's amazing how what you get really used to after a minute. You know, it took about a day, and then we were just completely used to it. And we had this amazing ensemble cast that really bonded very quickly and really got along. So there is sort of, we'd forget about the missing elements because there's so much there to pay attention to. And how are you enjoying London's weather, Christina? Oh, <laughs> oh who knows what it's doing to my hair. <laughs> oh, you look stunning though, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Have you got anything in the pipeline coming up? No, I'm just sort of, you know, waiting to see what happens and uh, I want to make really good choices from now on, like following up this kind of movie. Brilliant. Thank you, Christina. Oh, oh yeah, I feel very much at home here. I know the feeling. So what made you choose this movie? What was it about? You look a lot like Warney. Do you always get... Oh, I get that a lot. All, you look a lot like Warney. I thought you were Warney. I don't know what When you were calling out, I was like, why is Warney on interview I think he's a little bit older than me. But yeah, I'll take it. He looks good though, Warney. He looks good. Yeah, I think he's alright. He gets a lot of ladies, I think, doesn't he? Exactly, yeah. yeah they... Warney's a legend, <laughs> mate. You want to look like Warney. Yeah, exactly. I should have worn my white, shouldn't I? Oh, you guys married? That, we're not, we're not. No, maybe no, one day. Oh, right, right. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> if I was Shane Moore, you would. Yeah, I certainly would. Now, what made you choose this film? Really, I, I think there's not many directors in the world who've changed cinema, and the Wachowski brothers did that with The Matrix. They had an influence on all cinema that came after it, and I wanted to be, work with them. That was the main thing. So would you take the red or the blue pill? Uh, I would take both, I think. You're the second person. Yeah, I would that. take both. <laughs> just see what happens. It would be riotous. Yeah. And what have you got planned? You find out and then forget. Yeah, exactly. That's always a good way. It's like most Friday and Saturday yeah. nights, really. <laughs> Thanks so much. Enjoy the movie. No we'll we get in and Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye, Kate. John. Hi, John. <laughs> I'm, you know what? How was that? <laughs> <laughs> See, speed race. So we thought we'd bring our own steering wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please pretend. We've got to make sure you're lighted nicely in that. Right, I'm Polly. This is Russ. We're from LSQ Hello. TV. Um, now, Dan, absolute legend. What made you choose this film? Uh, they said Speed Racer and Wachowski Brothers, and I was hooked. That was, that's all they had to say. It just sounded good. Are you, are you a big Matrix fan? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Great movies, aren't they? Yeah. The colours in this, though, the special effects, yeah. they're groundbreaking again, yeah, aren't they? Did, yeah. <laughs> Did you, was it difficult acting to nothing a lot of no, the time? I, I'm used to it. You, you do old plays. And, uh, when I was a kid, you do plays. Or you have no scenery. You don't have anything but a table and some chairs. I never and did. They, they always say never work with children and animals. You've got. I got. Together. I got a full house there. Is the monkey coming tonight? Yeah, <laughs> okay, meals here. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. so now, what have you got planned coming up? Anything in the pipeline? I got a couple of things coming up, but I'm not sure when they're coming out. Okay, brilliant. Be busy. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank you. Hi Emil, um, I'm Pollyanna and this is Russ, we're from Leicester Square TV. Hello. What made you choose that script? Uh, you know, I just, I was always a really big fan of the show when I was a little kid. And the Wachowski brothers made The Matrix, which is just one of my favorite movies ever. Are you the fan of The Matrix then? One of the big, well, yeah, one of the biggest fans. Would you take in the red or the blue pill? Um, I think you take the red pill. <laughs> Good choice. And what have you got coming up next? Is it a film called Milk? Yes, yes, Gus Van Sant and Sean Penn. Are you looking forward to work with Sean Penn again? Because you obviously worked with him in Into the Wild. Yeah, yeah, I I've, I've already uh, had worked with him. And, uh, you know, it, the film's done now, so he was great. Thank you, Mill. OK, so it's been an amazing night. Um, one word for that I would say will be sopping. We are absolutely drenched through. We got we met John Goodman. Who else did we meet? Uh, we did indeed. Christina Ricci. We also had Emile Hirsch, pretty much most of the big stars. Exactly. Joel Silver as well, the producer of the movie. So it was a really good time tonight. But we'll see you again very, very soon. We're going to dry ourselves off now. This has been LSQ TV.